So now that we've got Microsoft Excel launched on our computers, let's take a look at the Excel interface. Now I'm going to break the interface up into two different sections and we're going to approach this into two separate videos. The first one or the first topic is going to deal with the Excel application interface. And then we're going to talk about the Excel document itself. So first the application. Way back when, prior to the 2007 release of the Microsoft Office Suite, Microsoft had a pretty consistent interface. They've had this for years. They had these drop-down menus, file, edit, view, insert, tools, and so on. And they were these text-based drop-down menus. Now, 2007 and later, I'm in 2013 here, they stripped those out and they gave us what's called the ribbon. This is the top portion of your screen. It's this more graphical tabbed interface where you'll find all of the tools that are at your disposal within the given application. And this isn't something that's just explicit to Excel. The same concept, the ribbon, applies to Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, Access, any of the newer Microsoft Office applications. So taking a look here, I'm currently on the Insert tab and I've got all these nice graphical tools, buttons that I can click on to insert content and additional elements into my Excel workbook. If I hop over to the Home tab, I've now got a separate set of tools, nice big graphical buttons that give me access to some very common commands that you'll be working with as you develop Excel documents. Now each of these tabs are all very similar. They just hold their respective features, except for one. The file tab is quite a bit different. If I give this one a click, it's not just a simple tab with a bunch of commands up there, but it replaces the entire screen. This is commonly referred to as the backstage view. This is where you'll find all the features, all the commands that deal with the file as a whole. Things like creating new documents, opening documents, saving documents, printing documents, and so on. This is your file tab or the backstage view. Now, I want to get out of the File tab and back into my main Excel application. Really simple. I'll click that little arrow up there at the top of the screen, and I'm back inside of Excel. So there's your ribbon. Right below the ribbon, you've got what's called the formula bar. The formula bar is going to become more relevant and more useful as you start entering data and editing that data, as well as adding formulas, calculations inside of your Excel document. So you got your ribbon, you got your formula bar, and now down at the very bottom of the screen, you got what's called the status bar. Now the status bar is not giving me very much right now at this moment, but it is very dynamic. Based on what you're doing, what you have selected, you will see different options show up on this little gray bar here. For now, really the only useful stuff that I have at this moment is a few different views. I've got my standard normal view where you'll spend most of your time. That's what you're looking at right now. I've got page layout view and page break preview. Two commands, two views that we'll talk about much more in depth later on as we get into printing our document. And you've got a little zoom bar, nice little interactive slider that you can zoom in and zoom out on your document. So your ribbon, your formula bar, your status bar. Now one more area, this is something we're going to talk much more in depth in the next video, but in the top left corner, you've got what's called the Quick Access Toolbar. Microsoft has provided three commands within Excel to give you quick, easy access to these commands found on the Quick Access Toolbar. You've got Save, Undo, and Redo. Three simple commands, but simply at your fingertips for quick, easy access. We're going to take a look in the next video how you can customize that quick access toolbar. But take a moment before you jump into that video, just browse around within the, inter within the interface. Take a look at the ribbon, look at a few different tabs up there, take a look at the status bar, maybe click on a couple different views there, get back into normal view, that's where we'll spend most of our time, but just getting familiar with the Excel application interface. Try it out, poke around in there, get comfortable.